We welcome you back to the U.S. Olympic Festival. We're enjoying our all-star break by watching some stars from the Olympic standpoint. Now we're going to talk to you about swimming, obviously the golden moments of Canner, but we also have a lot of other swimming news as the festival records have been going by the boards. Just take a look at all of this. Emily Short, as we mentioned at the top of the show, the 100-meter breaststroke, that's the second best time in the world this year. It is a festival record. Canner with the two, Scott Townsend, Mike Merrill, and the West team in the 800 meter relay. Now the West team that broke that 800 meter relay by seven tenths of a second included Uger Tanner, Ken Organikin, and Mike Picote along with Alec Mull. Organikin, by the way, will be swimming in the same pool this fall. He will be a freshman over at uh, the University of Minnesota. All right, we've told you about swimming. Now we're going to show you some swimming. The men's butterfly. We already know about Madam Butterfly. Remember Mary T. Maher? Let's see who the men's guy is this time. We're getting ready now for the men's 100-meter butterfly, the world and American record set by Pablo Morales, 52.84. You might recall this is the event Mark Spitz is attempting to make his comeback in. To take a look at the lane assignments, you've got lane one at the top of your screen, lane eight at the bottom, lane number seven, Scott Townsend has already won a gold medal in the 50-meter freestyle. He's shown explosive speed thus far, setting a new Olympic festival record in the sprint freestyle. Let's see, Tracy Calkins, how he does in the sprint butterfly. Well, he obviously has the speed, and that means he is pretty well prepared for this meet. It's when you're, tired, when you're tired from the training that you don't get that speed until the very end of the season when you rest. So Scott could be one of the favorites, but we have a strong field from uh, Clay Tibbins in lane four and over in lane one. Uger Tanner also was in the 50 freestyle and did very well. Lane one at the top of the screen, lane eight at the bottom. We're going two lengths to the pool, butterfly. A little bit of hesitation in lane number five. That was Blaine Carlson stepping back with his feet. Blaine from Madison, Wisconsin, wearing the red cap, now standing up. Sort of an unofficial warning. And they're off a great start out of lane number four. Clay Tippins from the south gets into the water first. But the question is, who's going to get back to the wall? These are very powerful swimmers. You can see their muscles as they're swimming. And it's already uh, in lane seven and in lane one. We've got a lot of speed there. But again, butterfly is very demanding. You don't want to overkick too much in that first 50 and maintain your rhythm and tempo. First to the wall, red cap Blaine Carlson from the west. And a very Challenge coming from the north, the yellow swim cap of Mike Merrill. Mike Merrill in lane six, five feet seven inches tall out of Charlotte, has pulled ahead a lead. He's going to the wall and he's hoping for a new festival record. The time, 54.97, is a new Olympic festival performance. The perfect swim for and, Mike Merrill. And he is one of the smallest competitors, as you said, 5'7, 135 pounds, a strong 16 year old with a new Olympic festival record. They are breaking records left and right. Now Clay Tippins in the red uh, cap, or Blaine Carlson, had a very good turn in and out. The rest of the field just a fraction behind him, but that second 50 is very difficult. And that youngster, uh, Mike Merrill, from Charlotte, North Carolina, came home very well. A fantastic come home swim. Mike Merrill is the first Olympic festival athlete ever to break the 54, 55 second barrier. His time 54.97, a new record. And in perspective, 54.27 was what Mark Spitz did to win his gold medals back in Munich. And that's the time that he'll be shooting for. Mike Merrill, perhaps the man who will be fighting for a spot on the 1992 Olympic team with Mr. Mark Spitz. Blaine Carlson winning a silver medal, and Uger Tanner finishes third for the bronze.